Okay, so for this third part, um, show how to do a kind of simple flip book, a kind of crude animation for how to um, how to illustrate the kind of um, variability and associative control that the grasshopper offers. So the first thing to do would be to um, kind of establish a view that we want to use. Um, I'll just take something like this. Uh, and I'm going to save that view, set view, named views, save, we'll call it P1. So now when I rotate around, I can always come back to that by typing it in. And um, what we want to do is essentially uh, take a number of pictures, um, capture frames, just of the viewport, not of the overall screenshot. Um, and we can do that by, if you go into the shade menu, Hold that down and pull it out. Um, there's a capture viewport to file option. And if we were to start right here, um, I can capture this uh, by left clicking on it. And I'm going to start a new um, folder on the desktop and call it um, Grasshopper Animation. And save it as a JPEG. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to call it 001. So this is our first frame in the animation. And now what I'm going to do is um, adjust the slider kind of one step at a time. So here I'm going to reduce it um, from 10 to 9, and then take another picture. Call that 002. And if we go into that folder, you can see that it's basically just capturing um, whatever is in that in that particular viewport. It's not taking a screenshot of the entire window. Um, so now I'll adjust, um, make some more adjustments, kind of incrementally. Kind of going back and forth between the two. And this is a kind of quick pass just to give you a sense of how to do this. Um, but it would be expected that you might, you know, uh, take a little bit more thought in terms of how to best compose this animation and best show off um, exactly what the, the various controls are. And so not just, um, it's not just a matter of changing the module, but also, let's say, change the overall size of this. So here I might go from 81 down to, let's say, 70 feet or so. Take another picture. And then maybe down to 60. Back to about 50. to about 40. And then maybe change the height a little bit. Go up to about 70. Take another picture. Um, and then maybe just adjust uh, the divisions once again. Start to turn that up. Okay, so we've got about 20 slides, and what we can do is take all of those and bring them into a single PDF file um, by going into Acrobat. And you, I think you need Acrobat Pro to be able to do this, but the labs all have it. So you go to um, Combine under File, Merge Files into a single PDF, and Add Files. Go to the desktop, um, grasshopper animation, 
just select all of these, add them. And they come in because of using the 00, zero as a prefix. They all come in in order. And then we can combine those. We'll call this um, flipbook. So now it's actually um, just coming in on each one on a separate page. And the way that we can get it to work like a flipbook is by going to view. We can go to full screen mode. And now when we scroll down or up, you can see that it's essentially animating. Um, frame by frame based on what we were doing uh, with those screen captures or um, viewport captures. And so this is essentially what would be expected by the end of the week is for everyone to run through this exercise um, and to just get comfortable with this uh, the grasshopper interface and then the, um, the kind of anim really simple animation technique to show off what you're doing. So let's just as a last thing, we'll escape out of that. And then just make sure that when you're working, that you save both the definition, which is the grasshopper file, um, and that you also save the Rhino file. So then when you come back in, you just need to make sure that you open both up together.